Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the ILO for giving me this opportunity to share what we do with you. My company's name is Janashtim, and we subscribe to the, to the 3P concept of prosperity, people, and planet in that order. We are a Singapore-based registered company with about 60 people on our payroll scattered across six countries. About 60% of us are persons with disabilities in Malaysia, China, and all over the Philippines. We are in the business of online education and support services. We started by carrying world-leading executive education programs, which are the first two on this slide. In recent years, we developed our own products. U21 Global is an online postgraduate school partly owned by the prominent universities listed on this slide, delivering MBA, Masters in IT and other globally accredited programs. eCornell is the e-learning arm of the prestigious Ivy League institution, Cornell University. You can earn certificates like these from Cornell University. Epic Online and CNPIC Online are live one-on-one face-to-face -on -one, -face language coaching services in English and Chinese. Our clients include prestigious academic institutions, including five-star hotels and prominent multinational companies. Our students are from more than 10 countries. Able Online is a remote online support service for PC users. Our technicians can take over PCs anywhere in the world and work on them. This is a service which won first prize in a business plan competition in Japan in 2010. And we have been using this service internally for years. 100% <clears throat> of our technicians are persons with disabilities. Mira Online is a newly launched service for remote surveillance, targeted at aging people living at home alone, <clears throat> perimeter surveillance for homes and businesses, and other applications. It is intended that this service will also be provided 100% by persons with disabilities. We are primarily a B2B company, and here are our clients who are academic institutions. Please note the satisfaction ratings indicated, which are for our language online services. We have, we have similar satisfaction ratings from our industry clients, and here are some of them. Most of these clients are not even aware that we hire persons with disabilities. We provide competitive world-class services, and we do not need to make any excuses for hiring persons with disabilities. Quite the reverse. Having majority persons with disabilities in our organization make it possible for us to be as good as we are in what we do. So how do we do it? As you can see in our organization chart, our persons with disabilities are scattered both horizontally and vertically across the organization. They are the colored boxes. Compare them with the gray boxes, which are the minority. They are totally integrated into our organization. Please note that about half our top management staff are persons with disabilities. A good example would be our Taylor's College pilot project in late 2011 in Malaysia. We were asked to take on 50 students who came from the local O-levels program where the medium of education was Bahasa. We were given three months to help these students improve their English proficiency so that they can follow the Cambridge A-level program they were taking and also to sit for the IELTS tests for entrance into Canadian universities. As you can see, we achieved tremendous results for our client and their students. But more significantly, this next slide shows the involvement of our persons with disabilities. Of the more than 2,000 hours which we spent on the project, more than 60% were by persons with disabilities, one third of them visually impaired and two thirds with other disabilities. Most of our quality assurance staff and some 
research staff are visually impaired. The rest of our persons with disabilities are mobility impaired with missing limbs, cerebral palsy, and we have one with Asperger's syndrome. And here is a testimonial from McDonald's in Thailand. Please note that as a result, we are also providing our EPIC online program to one of the Echo hotels in Bangkok who are owned by the same owners as McDonald's. So how does this really work? The major impediment for persons with disabilities to work in developing countries is mobility and public transport. The major enabler for us was when we decided on a work from home model. Most of the things that need to be done in an office today can actually be done from anywhere where you have a PC and an internet connection. And of course, technology increasingly bridges the gap for persons with disabilities. How many of you are familiar with what the screen reader is? But I am pretty sure you would not have seen someone operating a PC without any hands or legs. Our process manager, Raj Kumar, uses the PC and the internet effectively, even though he is a quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down. We believe that one of our core competencies is designing work processes such that persons with different disabilities can complement each other in a team. It is really rather basic management principle of how to manage a team of people. I would like to quote a very profound statement from a very profound speaker, Dr. Surin Pitsuan, Secretary General of ASEAN. They are not disabled in everything. Zero in and expand on the abilities that they have and develop these qualities. Let me give you an example of how we leverage persons with different disabilities. We have inquiries lodged on our website about our eCornell program. These inquiries picked up by Peeps, who is deaf. He sends standard emails to those inquiries and follows up to the point when the prospective client wants to speak with someone. This is then transferred to Glory Beth, who is blind but speaks very well and is very convincing and persuasive. When the prospective client becomes a client, Jeremy, who has Asperger's syndrome, handles the registration and payment processes. They are being supervised by Lei, who is a wheelchair user. This team is scattered across the country. In this next slide, I'm putting some faces to some of the people who make our business what it is. Persons with disabilities working for us are expected to have the same productivity as any other staff. They are engaged in key positions in our business and interact directly with our clients. We do not have different pay rates between our staff with and without disabilities. As 50% of our top management are persons with disability, they can have much higher salary than their subordinates who are often persons without disabilities. It is all about performance and results. If I may, I would like to borrow one slide from the ILO. We are right at the bottom. We do this because it makes business sense. We already benefit from the impact of a determined and motivated workforce, bringing stability for our clients and sustainability for our business. We have yet to reap the benefits of a persons with disability inclined market and consumers. The recent WHO World Report on Disability says that 15% of the global population are persons with disabilities. If we count immediate family, it brings the percentage to 40%. It is hard to imagine why this will not become a phenomenal market to be in. We consider being part of the ILO Business Disability Network an immense privilege and honor, especially considering the size of our business. We do, however, have big audacious goals and all we need to achieve them are opportunities to provide our globally competitive services. We have chosen to provide services which are useful to businesses, institutions and households. Apart from being in this network, we do have recognition and testimonials from various organizations and prominent individuals, which can be found on our website. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for this opportunity to present our business. Thank you.